Remember, when we respect the scholars, we would actually be closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because the deen comes to us through them. The deen comes to us through them. So even if you have a gripe against a scholar, even if there is something that has happened, when you want to raise it, do so respectfully. The problem today that we have, people, even amongst one another, when something bad has happened, they say, expose this person, do this to that. If you expose someone, fair and good. Allah will expose you. So one of the rights and the duties we have that Muhammad sallallahu has spoken about many times, he says, whoever covers the fault of a Muslim, Allah will cover their faults in this world and the next, and Allah will not embarrass them. So if you've been going around exposing people, wait for your day, it's coming. May Allah forgive us. But if you have, that does not mean don't deal with the problem. You may want to deal with it, but in a respectful manner, in a private way, in a way that you don't disturb the dignity of an individual. You know, imagine there was an imam in one of the masajid in one of the countries in southern Africa. And he was quite rough. And he used to know the community. The people started leaving the masjid one by one because he used to get up and say, you know, alcohol is very bad. This brother, and he would point at the brother. And he would say with his name, say his name was Yunus, for example. He says, brother Yunus, he's been drinking for 20 years. Please get up and tell us, what have you gained from that? Tell us. what." And this brother's like, huh? what? <laughs> so to correct such a scholar, you need, and wallahi, this is factual. What I've told you is real. He spoke about alcohol. He spoke about adultery. He says, you know, this person here, what he's been doing is very bad. Get up and tell us what's been going on. We're hearing a rumor. And he's like, what? Now they stop coming for Salatul Jum'ah. So we got to deal with it because this is a big thing. But at the same time, deal with it respectfully. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us. In this particular case, he was wrong to expose someone else, even to talk about them from a member. Tell you why. People come to get closer to Allah, to learn something good, to be inspired. Why are you here today? Why are you here? You are here to be inspired, to get something good, to get closer to Allah, to have, to, to feel when you leave here that today I learned something. Today I had a really good time and it was so nice. I enjoyed it. There were beautiful brothers and sisters, mashallah. We learned, we laughed at the same time and we cried also. And we walked out of here better people. That's why you are here. Am I right? There you are. Imagine if I were to pick on one of you, two of you, make this whole thing a big embarrassment, you would go away saying, never again. Straight path, no way, not at all. <laughs> may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us and may He open our doors. So this is why we say we need to definitely respect one another. We need to be there for one another. We need to understand that just like we would love to be covered, we need to cover others.